Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Quick Looks video. And the subjects of this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule collection of Master Dominus and G2 Universe Leadfoot. This is the last of the Wreck and Rule series from Amazon. Just arrived today, so take a quick look at the packaging. We've got some great looking artwork of Master Dominus here in his mammoth fossilizer mode and Leadfoot in robot mode, opening fire on some Decepticons. Transformers Legacy, Transformers on the side. Let's see, back of the box features Leadfoot in robot mode and vehicle mode, Master Dominus in robot mode and Mastodon mode. And of course it shows him in all his parts since he's a fossilizer. This side of the box is the Autobot artwork that we're all familiar with. And this side of the box is the Decepticon. So now, without further ado, let's get this duo opened up out of the packaging and check them out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Master Dominus and Leadfoot all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see that they do come with a sheet of instructions. The final piece for the mighty cardboard wreckers hammer, and I'll show this off at the end of the video, and they come with their accessories. Now, the accessories are wrapped up in tissue paper, so don't throw those away. Master Dominus comes with his two tusks, and Leadfoot comes with his missile launcher, missile, and rifle. So first off, let's take a closer look at Master Dominus. Now Master Dominus to me has a pretty weird name and that's because I was a huge fan of the series Spartacus a few years ago and the main villain from the first season was known as the Dominus. And if you google Dominus, it means Master. So is this guy's name really Master Master? <laughs> but that's just me. Now, taking a closer look at this figure, he is a repaint and remold of Kingdom Ractonite. And Ractonite had another remold, I believe it was Tricranius. That was the one that came with all the blast effects. And once again, I love the looks of what they did with this figure. Ractonite here is my favorite fossilizer. I just love the looks of this guy. And for Master Dominus here, they went all out with the paint applications. I always liked, uh, forgetting these names, Ractonite, because of the bone look, the way the white and the gray looks on him. But Master Dominus here has a lot of colors. He's got black, red, gold, blue, and silver paint there on the toes. So lots of paint details, and I love the application right there for the chest piece that is a new mold it kind of looks like a not a stegosaur triceratops head right there with the horn if you look close yeah that's a completely new mold right there for the chest new head sculpt that looks really good very ninja like got some aqua blue eyes a silver face I cannot talk tonight, I'm sorry. Silver face plate, and then you got this section right here that can fold down, kind of like a battle mask. Other new molding, of course, is right there for the shoulder. So you've got a nice comparison here. That is the Mastodon skull. And of course, we've got the tusks right here that plug right in. 
So right there is Master Dominus with his tusks. Now, you can utilize that as a weapon by pulling off this section of the skull right here. Let's see, we'll just turn these around. Kind of like hooks. And then what you're supposed to do, unlike Ractonite, is rotate the arms around so you have this port facing the outside. And then you can just plug this in right there. So now you've got this big Wolverine claw hand looking thing. And Master Dominus also has these extra pieces right here that plug into the forearms. I guess those can be guns, but we'll find out where these, those go when we transform him into his fossilizer mode or beast mode. So yeah, I am really digging the looks of this guy. Now, when uh, I announced that he was coming out and some people already had him, they said this figure was really loose and I'm not noticing that. I mean, he's holding that heavy blade up, no problem. Now, if I bring it down right to about here, I mean, it drops a little, but I'm not seeing anything like the complaints we're stating online. But then again, I think that may be more for beast mode. As you can see, he's holding his arms out perfectly fine. Let's take a look at Master Dominus in his Mastodon mode. Now, once I got Master Dominus transformed into his beast mode, I realized there's a little bit more remolding than I thought. Taking a look at the rib cage compared with Ractonite, look at the differences in the shoulder blades. Where Ractonite has those narrow shoulder blades, Master Dominus has a lot wider ones right there. So didn't catch that at first, but there you go. Now, the extra joint pieces that I showed off earlier they go right there where this figure here you know he connected and he's got these short stubby legs the extra joint pieces make the legs for the mastodon mode a lot longer so i think this looks really cool now as far as the looseness is concerned i have discovered that in this mode especially with this leg here that does not peg in well at all or some floor polish will fix that right up and what else did I discover? The head is a little loose, but he's nowhere as bad as I saw people complaining about online. I think this figure looks really good. The collars just pop on it. The red's kind of, dis kind of disturbing there. He looks like he has lungs. So there is Master Dominus here with Ractonite once again, just so you can get a close look at the differences in the two and of course he's got a little stubby tail as well but yeah i like this guy and taking a look at the skull i haven't went over that that looks awesome and i love the teeth right there if you can see that that's some nice attention to detail right there so there you go guys master dominus now let's take a look at Leadfoot, and this figure here is an homage to the original Generation 2 Leadfoot figure that was part of the Rotor Force subline. This was a group of Transformers that could launch spinning discs from their vehicle modes and robot modes. And I gotta tell you guys, right off the bat, I love the color scheme on this figure with the red and the yellow right down to this awesome metallic blue for the legs. This figure looks so good and what a great head sculpt. The only issue I have with mine right now is there is a paint scuff right on top of the head. It's not major, but it's still disappointing. Now, Leadfoot here is a repaint and retool of Kingdom Mirage. And I have failed you guys because I forgot I never bought a Kingdom Mirage because I have a Toy Hacks upgraded version of Siege Mirage and felt like I really didn't need another one. So that makes me even happier that I bought this guy because now I can experience the Kingdom Mirage mold. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't get the Kingdom Mirage because the Kingdom Mirage doesn't have a spot to put the missile launcher on the shoulder, which carries over to Leadfoot here. So let's go ahead and bring in his weapons. You've got the launcher, which is done up in black with a nice metallic blue missile. And since it won't fit into his shoulder, I guess it's just gonna be a handgun. And then he also has his black rifle here, which 
is exactly the same as Siege Mirage. So now we have lead foot all armed and ready for battle and that is a tight fit. So yeah, there's the comparisons. So these two look really good together and like I said, I don't mind a bit now that I passed up on Kingdom Mirage. Now, let's go ahead and look at the articulation to check out the tightness of his joints. And there's no problem whatsoever. These joints are nice and tight, especially down here on the legs. I mean, I'm putting some force behind that right there. I don't know if that's thickened up because of that metallic paint or what, but that, that's a nice tight joint. And whoa, we got an ab crunch. It's probably part of transformation, but still a little bit of an ab crunch. So. Unlike a lot of the Wrecker figures I've been getting lately, Leadfoot here has some nice tight joints. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Leadfoot in vehicle mode. Leadfoot's vehicle mode looks just as good as his robot mode with that great use of collars, especially with the metallic blue there for the middle. I love that. That just looks so good. Got the red 93 up there on the spoiler even has the metallic blue cockpit 93 there on the front clip on wheels though hate to clip on wheels but i've pretty much gotten used to it by now and here is lead foot compared to siege mirage in vehicle mode and yeah these two are night and day differences and like i said i'm so happy that i passed up on kingdom mirage and got this guy because I do like this guy a lot better than I think I would Kingdom Mirage. I mean, this one works for me thanks to Toy Hacks. But man, Leadfoot is just really, really sharp looking. And we can go ahead and add his weapons here to the little ports on the side. So you can see what that looks like with the vehicle all armed up and ready for battle. And yeah, that looks really, really good. A very impressive addition to our Wrecker Squad. The Transformers Legacy Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule Collection Master Dominus and Leadfoot is a great end to that series. These two figures are awesome. I enjoy the hell out of them. I mean, just a couple of small issues of looseness with Master Dominus, but I've got no complaints with Leadfoot whatsoever other than my little chip on the head issue, but, but that's probably not gonna be on every figure. I just really don't have any issues with these two, and I really think the Wreck and Rule collection ended with a bang. So does this set belong in your collection? Absolutely. Especially if you're a fan of fossilizers, and if you missed out on the Kingdom Mirage, because I think this guy makes a damn fine substitute. So there you go, guys. The Transformers Legacy Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule collection, Master Dominus, and Leadfoot. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah! Yeah, I almost forgot. There is the Wrecker's Hammer in all its cardboard glory. So yeah, I put it together. Now I'm going to take it apart, fold it up, and it's going into storage.